Hey, good day everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and it was not a good weekend for our Philadelphia Phillies. It was a series for many blunders for them. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content here at Sports Night News, as well as at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty for some Flyers great content at Nitty Gritty and all sports content at Steel Flyers. So please subscribe there. But let's get right into this series. There was only one positive game from this series that the Phillies still had one error in that game. Uh, by Nicky Maton, who all things considered, though, uh, by the end of the series, um, did have a very good series and was actually one of the good players in this series to talk about compared to many different issues in this series. But the only positive the Phillies have to look for in this Toronto series is Vince Velasquez. It's still hard to say this without timidly saying it because we've been fooled before and we don't want to get fooled again by Vince having success and then struggling, but it does look like he's starting to use his pitches more and not just consistently go to the fastball when he doesn't have it all there on a given night. He seems to be saying even in a 2-2 count, he's not going to just straight up go, oh, let me go to the fastball so I don't go to a 3-2 count. No, he's been mixing in his pitches more. It seems like JT worked well with him, Nat worked well with him, so... I think uh, that was a very nice thing to see. It was also very nice to see him pitch since he's been working with JT. A very good game working with Andrew as well. So I think Vinny Velo, I mean, timidly saying it, but that's very good to see. Brogdon is one of the league leaders in wins per um, having four, especially per relief pitcher. So that's kind of hilarious. Um, he's up there in the top five. That's actually really hilarious early on. But uh, he's doing pretty uh, solid. He just has a couple bad outings mixed in there that has his ERA high, which is what happens for relief pitchers. But that's the only good game <clears throat> the Phillies have to chalk up in this series. You had Real Muto um, walk in this game when he came in uh, in the seventh inning, and then Knapp was able to score. Harper went to third, and then that's when uh, Hoskins was able to double. That scored JT and Bryce Harper, which was able to put the icing on the cake in that game, and then Alec Bohm just added an extra double to add insult to injury for the Blue Jays in that game. But that's the only game that, oh no, excuse me, Real Muto dh in this game, so he didn't come in later in the game. I forgot about that. My apologies. But he was only able to get that one uh, key on base in that game. And it was a pivotal one, though, because he got an RBI for walking the easiest RBI in baseball. Um, after leaving seven guys on base, so that was good for him to be able to actually help there and get those guys in, so that's the positive game. Then it goes into, on Saturday, Aaron Nola, obviously, in this game, did not come out strong. Uh, in the first inning, Vlad was able to homer. Then in the second, due to the Goriel double, they were up 2 nothing. and then by the end of the second, Reese McGuire was able to get a single that put them up 3 nothing. So Nola was um, taken advantage of for leaving some pitches over the money part of the plate early on in this game. But then he was able to settle down and pitch six and two-thirds inning and actually battle through the start, give you eight strikeout, and only give up three earned runs trying to find the uh, pitch count here. It was 103 with 67 strikes. So I feel like since he was able to settle down, this game in the end really goes back to the Phillies just not being able to find enough potency in their offense and just leaving. They went 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position in this game. And they left um, 11 on base. And then as this video is going to be titled, it was a series full of blunders. This is when it started. You had three errors in this game. In order to win a game, first got to field the ball before you can even have a good chance to come back with hitting the ball or pitching the ball successfully because unless if your pitcher is striking out everybody, you're going to have to pick it. And the Phillies just did not do that this series. They had three errors in this game. Aaron Nola started off shaky, gave up three early, but the Phillies, he settled in and only gave up three through six and two-thirds. You should be able to get some stuff going against the Blue Jays there, particularly Anthony Kay, who's not even a full-blown starter and has been a swing man and is still trying to find his groove in Major League Baseball. So I think that was a very bad, poor performance from the Phillies, fielding-wise and hitting-wise. And then pitching-wise, it was actually pretty damn good because Aaron Nola settled in and actually pitched a good game. The team just couldn't pick it in the field. That cost them. And they just couldn't compete uh, at the bats. Uh, nobody could get consistent hits in this game. They just left people on base. And the Blue Jays only went 2-for-10 with runners in scoring position, but were still able to win this game due to piss-poor fielding by the Phillies. 
and just them being able to capitalize on at least two of those opportunities uh, where the Phillies could capitalize on absolutely zilch as they got shut out four to nothing in the second game. So that was a very uh, piss poor outing uh, by our Phillies. Then in the third game, Chase Anderson really made it tough. Both teams had two errors in this game, but the Phillies still did not pick the ball well in this game. I don't know what that Segura play was when he was coming in on the ball, and I've actually complimented uh, his fielding more so this year. has actually been graded the highest he's been graded in a while, but I don't know what that was on that play there. But Chase Anderson obviously put the Phillies way much more so than Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola only put them behind the eight ball by three and then pitched a really good game. Anderson was not able to do such. Uh, he only went one in a third inning and gave up seven. I mean, he just got scorched. Uh, he really put the Phillies behind the eight ball uh, by giving up the home run to start with Bichette and Simeon in the first inning. Then Jensen had a single. Bichette did stuff again, had a single to make it 4 nothing. Guerrero continues to kill you, makes it 5 nothing, And then Grichik doubled to make it 7 nothing, And that was all she wrote for Chase Anderson. So he really put the Phillies behind the eight ball. And then uh, Simeon was able to double off of David Hale in the third inning, which made it 8 nothing. But then... You had Nick Maton, who was actually one of the only positives of this entire series. He did make an error in the first game, but that was a game they were able to win. So it didn't come back to cost them. But then in this game, he was able to hit two home runs, one to make it 8-1. to one. Then Kutch followed up with a home run to make it 8-2. to two. And Bohm singled in that inning to make it 8-3. to three. So in this game, at least the Phillies were getting some hits. They were 5-13 for 13 with runners in scoring position, a bit better with nine left on base. But your pitcher, this game was... You had two errors, but this game was really on Chase Anderson. Your pitcher put you way behind the eight ball, way too much. You can't put your team behind the eight ball with seven runs in two innings. That's just unacceptable. Uh, they actually fought back enough in this game. Uh, you had Maton by Tommy Homer in the sixth. Then it was only a four-run game, so you definitely had a ball game at that point. But then, unfortunately, uh, Simeon on a ground out was able to get an insurance run in the seventh. But then Maton was able to single again. So two homers and a single for an RBI for Maton in this game. He was on fire to make it 9-6. to six. But then, unfortunately, they added another insurance run um, in this game off of Kinsler to make it 10-6 to six, uh, on the Vladdy Guerrero home one in the eighth before Miller was able to single and then Herrera was able to single and the Phillies were able to lose 10-8. to eight. So really, you got put behind the eight ball way too much in this game by Chase Anderson, but then also, since the Phillies are actually able to come back and put up some fight in this game, you could blame it a bit on the bullpen too, since obviously Suarez on the Simeon ground out uh, gave up an insurance, and then especially Guerrero um, for Kinsler, that was an insurance run there. The Phillies were able to make it 10-8 to by the end, so if the bullpen didn't give up a couple insurance runs in the 7th and the 8th uh, inning there, maybe the Phillies actually would have been able to even it up. But this game was clearly primarily on Chase Anderson. But it was a series full of blunders. You had bad fielding plays, two of them in this game. You had three in the second game. You had one in the first game, but it did not cost the Phillies at all since they were actually able to win that game. That's the lone positive of Vinny Velasquez. Pitched another very clean game. Hopefully he can continue to do so. Whoever would have thunk that we would be saying Vinny Velasquez was the savior of a series to be able to salvage a series on game one. And then all things just went haywire. After that, where the Phillies were not able to pick up Aaron Nola, who actually did go a good six and two-thirds innings, only giving up three. They couldn't pick him up, and then Chase Anderson just torched them and put them behind the eight ball, giving up seven runs in two innings. But then the Phillies fought back, and the bullpen gave up insurance runs there in the seventh and the eighth, so that cost them as well. But hopefully in the next series, our Philadelphia Phillies are going to have better luck against the Miami Marlins. Stay tuned for Andrew. Hopefully he'll be able to join me and I's preview that will be coming out tonight or tomorrow morning on that series. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this series reaction to a series full of blunders, whether it was pitching blunders or fielding blunders uh, for the Phillies against the Toronto Blue Jays to lose the series two games to one and get salvaged. The only way they salvage the series is because Vince Velasquez, of all people, again, is a guy that steps up to be able to get the Phillies a win. Stay safe, everybody. Be well and enjoy all the great baseball action. Peace out.